And I tell you something today, things which won't come to you are not worth running after. When you run after, start running after things, then you keep running till death. And that's why majority of the women in America and Western world, once they are told, I love you, they, they think something has started, they think something has ended, because they don't trust the word. You cannot trust the word. Therefore, word doesn't trust you. In the beginning there was a word, word was with God and word was God. Word is God. Whatever you say is a Kashik record. So technologically and biologically, your beauty, your health, your attraction, your psyche, which can get you all what you want, depends on your contentment. Every woman has sixteen times power to destroy herself or build herself. But you always humanly built sectionally. That's very important to know. You have the capacity to build yourself totally. Some women can get into business, some women get into ego, some women... Woman has a problem that she uses this sixteen time power to develop a section of her, not a whole of her. If you just develop the whole of you as a woman, with that capacity which God gave you sixteen times, sixteen count more, you have no problem at all. There's no match between you and man. It's one to sixteen ratio. Nature provided it. You didn't ask for it. So technically speaking, you have the capacity to love, to build yourself, to build the environments, build the future, build everything. You don't need help. Simply it is called, word is called, repeat it, word is called applied talent. Applied talent. In you there are three things which are very important. One is applied, other is caliber, applied talent and tel uh, caliber and consciousness. Applied talent is Whatever you are going to do, just understand what will be the sequence, consequences, action, reaction, progression and regression. All six things can be computed by applied talent. What is the second part? Caliber. Caliber is width, length and width. You know, caliber you can understand? There's a BB gun, it has no caliber. If you want to kill an elephant, you have to, then you can't use BB gun. You have to do bigger caliber. So with every personality, according to the man's status, according to status, and the statement should be made, according to the caliber of the status. You cannot talk the way you want to talk or you are talking. Your talk must match the caliber 
That is called statement. Part of the statement is, words say you get me out of the mouth, I'll take you out of the town. Power of the word is impossibly powerful. Nobody can measure it. One wrong word, at one wrong moment, it takes to destroy the whole world of yours, and especially woman world, because she has sixteen times more power than a man. Man needs you. Man cannot love you. That's the secret which is very painful and you should learn as a woman. Man cannot love you. How can man love sixteen times thing better and bigger than him? Now tell me, who is lying to who? No man has the biological, sociological and physical capacity to love a woman. She is sixteen times more insecure, sixty times more secure, sixty times better, sixty times worse. It's a whole sixty times more rain. It's two watts to cover. So basically man needs you. Therefore he feeds you. Therefore all the time he reads you. Do you think he does? Man will feed you. What else he does? He needs you, he feeds you and then he reads you. You always see men saying, what do you say? You say it again. Read, read. He needs you, he feeds you and then he reads you. That's why they invite you to lunch, to dinner. He wants to know what your mood is. Man, ha no man is born yet which can know the mood of woman. There's no man, there's no such man. If woman mood is rude or crude, she is totally out. Your rudeness and crudeness, your politeness and brightness can bring you the planet. If you are polite and bright, you have it all. If you are rude and crude, you have nothing. It's a decisive factor, it will never miss its mark. You have to rude once, crude only half a time. Because when you are rude and crude, you are automatically sixty time plus. But when you are bright and polite, you are sixty time plus. So please understand your impact for you. Man will always read you. Hello, how are you? How are you feeling? That son of a gun is not trying to know your feeling. He is trying to know what your mood is about. Are you rested? Are you happy? Are you itchy? Are you bitchy? Are you going to stitch his mouth? Are you going to let him talk? Are you let him watch the television? Have you seen when people want to watch television and eat just their dinner? What's, what's cooked now? What's, what's, you know, hum, hum, hum. Have you seen? It's called boar talk. You know what a boar is? Pig. Yeah, yeah, boar. Hum, hum, hum. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Men have these, these, these are men's knowledges. This is his communication. One is, first is boar. Hmm, hmm. Then second is fish, slippery. What do you say? I didn't hear you. Did I? In the morning. You know, there are certain things you should know about men. One is boar. 
One is fish. Right? One is deer. Like antelope, he will start jumping and making kind of happy moves. That is sexy. And then other mood of his is like a lion. He will roar. What? What do you say? Huh? What are you talking about? Are you out of senses? What are the four animals I said? Four fish. Very rarely man talks like a man. Very rarely. And when he talks like a man, at that time he talks like a wad, wise, fatherly, assuring, and extremely personal. But very rarely. When he talk, talks like a man, you will find one word. He will start with word don't. Don't you touch, don't you worry, don't you do this. He cannot speak more than three words. Take it granted. I mean, I'm just start te teaching you psychology of communication. Three words he will say. Shut up. Stop this. Get out of here. Everything will be almost... Th three words are very rare. Two will do. Then he's talking as a man. There's no game about it, no playing about it. Don't worry. None of your concern. Don't bother. This is man's language. Who? Don't pay attention. This is the maximum he can say. I will take care. If he says, I'll take care of it, it's a rare man. I'll take care. Two or three words. That's all. So which we done? You want a bull? You want a deer? You want a fish? You want a lion? Or you want a man? All are no good, right? Yeah, they are no good. Because you want to talk and talk and talk and talk. You are a quack machine. One thing you must understand, men don't like to talk and you don't want to stop. That's the real difference. You want to know of every detail. Men want you to know all the detail and do it all. They don't want to work home. Men do not want to work home. Men do not want to take care of the family in the way you, because you have sixteen times more delightful way of detail and aggressiveness are going into everything. Man doesn't have it. If you want to get your plates broken, ask him to dish, wash dishes with you. One day, start, take sixteen dishes, see in how much time man washes and how what quality is there and how much you do and what quality. I mean, it's, it's, there are very simple things. Because you do not understand the capacity of the man. He is outwardly aggressive. Inwardly hollow. Because what goes out creates a cavity. 
यू आर इनवर्डली सॉलिड आउटवर्डली सोफिस्टिकेटेड यू आर नॉट आउटवर्डली एग्रेसिव डजेंट मैटर हाउ रूड यू मे बी रूडनेस एंड क्रूडनेस इज योअर टॉम बॉय नेचर बिकॉज वी हैव ए मेल इन आस टू दैट्स नॉट ए वोमन एंड मोमेंट यू बिकम ए मेल बिहेवियर इन कम्युनिकेशन यू लूज द रिलेशनशिप दैट यू मे हैव रिलेशन बिटवीन ए फीमेल एंड फीमेल एंड फीमेल एंड मेल आर फीमेल एंड फैमिली When you leave sophisticated, sophisticatedness out of your language, you lose because your words are effective sixteen times more than that of man. So you don't have a space for error. You'll cut both way. so the best way you is to rule the situation to command the situation and wear the crown of the situation therefore you need width domain they call it you have to have dominion and then you can dominate your dominion with absolutely subtlety and you must as a female be subtle because that is your fulfillment because ultimately soul lives in the subtle body and leaves the planet so woman is meant to be liberated and her behavior will prove it when she is subtle but in your communication in your behavior and in your ego if you start this chain 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 like a rat is car red dark i you start barking i you start totally frustratedly absolutely frowning and those kind of things you use are you create dramatizing and traumatizing you will have no place in the world of a man and in the world of god your victory is in your subtlety your victory is in your subtlety your victory is in your smiles and your victory is in your sophisticatedness how sophisticated you handle a thing that matters more than anything else you are the master of your own destiny take it that you want it